Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are going to create this flag animation simulation and I really hope you will enjoy this one and if you do, please don't forget to leave that like and if you're new around here, hit that subscribe. Now let's jump right into empty blender file and first of all, let's just delete everything. We don't need any of this. So drag a selection, press X and choose delete. And now let's press one on an numpad for a front view and let's press shift A and we'll add a plane. Now let's press R then X and 90 and confirm with enter that will rotate the plane 90 degrees and we can just move it up and find some flag shape here. So tap into the edit mode and we can press S then Z and scale this down on Z axis to something like this. And now let's subdivide this a little bit. So let's press Ctrl R and create two cuts right here, maybe even four and you will see why like this and right click to release and then control R again and let's do one here. So we are trying to basically create square shapes here. So maybe I will just select everything and scale it a little bit down on the Z axis even more like this. And now I'll right click and choose subdivide and I'll create more of these squares and we can press shift R to repeat that operation and get really dense mesh like this. Um, we can go even one step further, um, but be mindful of your equipment if you have like a slow CPU or something that might cause you some trouble. So um, sometimes for the cloud simulation, even something like this um, should be okay. So I will do one more here, tab out and let's move this higher up like here. And we'll do the pole um, just so we have like a full flag. So let's press shift A. We'll add a plane, tap into the edit mode and I'll press M and merge everything at center. They'll create a vertex here and I'll press E then Z and extrude this up like this. Now tap about right click and convert to curve and in the curve settings geometry section, let's increase the depth a little bit and fill caps, right click and shade smooth and you will have something like this here. Now select the flag. Let's press G then X and move it a little bit outside like this and now tap into the edit mode and let's just select all the vertices here on the left or like this. Um, if you want, you can enable X-ray view so you can see through the pole. Make sure only the vertices on the left side are selected. And now let's go to the data properties here, vertex groups, create a new group and hit assign. Now we'll tap out and let's go to the physics tab. If you feel like this is too fast for you or you don't understand some core concepts, make sure to check out my courses. I carefully designed them to take you from beginner skills to low poly illustration all the way to full character illustration, textured environments and much more. And I build the courses as creative projects, each with its own style. And every time there's a new technique or something needs explaining, we stop for a while and you get an in-depth explanation. But in the end, you still get a full project result. So if you're interested, please check out the link in the description and we'll enable cloud simulation and right here first thing i want to do in the shape menu we'll add our group as a pin group they'll basically just stick um, that part of the mesh and they will not move and will not be simulated it will not be falling and the next thing i want to do is to enable collisions and self collision now let's play back the animation and you will see this kind of just falls like this um, I think there's a lot of tension there. So let's go here and remove the tension and compression. And now it should be like more wrinkly and it will make it easier uh, to work with the wind. So this is the first step. And now we'll introduce some wind. So let's press Shift A and we'll add force field and wind. And now let's just press R to rotate it and we can for the reference, move it up here. And I like to turn it a little bit so it kind of hits the flag from the side. So let's press R then Z and just turn it slightly towards the flag. And now if you play it back, there'll be basically no difference because you really need to add some strength um, to the wind. So if you go something like 50, let's say, that still won't make too much of a difference. Um, so I found you need to go a lot, a lot higher to actually have some impact. So let's try something like 1500. And now if you play back the animation, you get some wind behavior here, but it's still too low. So let's go something like 5000. And now this is starting to move as you can see in the wind, but it's still falling a lot. 
so let's go something like 8k you can see already this is starting to work a little bit better um, but I have a really slow FPS here so I think I went a little bit too far with the subdivision here if something like this happens to you you can always add the decimate modifier right here and choose unsubdivide and do one iteration make it two and then go up here and apply and you will have unsubdivided mesh so you have something like this here now and if I play it back I get much better FPS as you can see so just be mindful of that subdivision and now you can see how the wind works maybe this is now even too strong so let's play with the power of the wind here I think maybe something like 6k would be fine and now you can just try to play with those rotations of the wind and see what will happen so yeah that's basically it for the animation now the thing I recommend to do um, when you're doing animation like this is to bake the wind animation or the cloud animation to cache so let's find the cache section right here in the cloud simulation and you can see it starts at one so for example if you start your animation here it's just this flat plane and it falls first and only then the wind hits it so what I like to do is to go minus 100 here and bake all dynamics and when you have it baked if you go to frame one you can see it already works the simulation is on and it works in the wind so you can you know start with the animation right away and now basically you can place whatever you want on the flag I will put the link in the description for the blender logo image mask I made for you know my version for the thumbnail so you can go to shading menu now and just create a new material for the flag and right here press shift a add a texture image texture and just navigate to your flag PNG and now if you plug it into the surface you will see this is what you get um, it's not so distorted as I thought it would be so if you go to the UV editing and select everything you will see how it works with your image and this works quite nicely here it might not be your case so you can press U to unwrap and hit unwrap and now if you switch to material preview you can now rotate this minus 90 degrees you know move it around and scale it here in the UV editor to find the best match all like this and now back to the shading menu we can use this as a mask so for example you can plug this into metallic channel and now if we preview this um, you will see this part here in the middle is metallic let me right click and shade smooth and now you can use it as a color mask so let's press A and we'll go color and mix color um, let me re-plug this into the metallic channel and now here we'll plug this into the factor and into the color so right now this is all gray but if you now change the a you can make this dark or you know give this some color if you want you know, like this and you can also play with the roughness but i will use the flat value for the roughness and to make the flag look a little bit better you can go to the modifiers and add solidify modifier so generate and solidify they'll give this some volume and then you can add subdivision surface but after the simulation so you will have you know some nice material here it doesn't look so flat like you know only a um, piece of paper or something and now basically you can do whatever you want um, you know add some background add some lights um, if you really want to know how to prepare you know some scene with the basic lighting um, check out my tutorials playlist in the description there are a lot of tutorials there where I work with the background and lighting and stuff like that so you can finish this however you want but yeah basically that's it this is how you create a fully animated physically realistic flag in blender and I really hope you enjoyed this one and again if you did please leave a like and if you're new around here and want to learn more hit that subscribe thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day